Hey guys, welcome back to some more Tennis World Tour and part 21 of our career mode. And in today's episode, we play in the quarterfinal of the Dragons Trophy in Season 2 and we have a new patch. This is the first video since 1.3 was released and we've had some very interesting sort of discussions uh, or sort of messages from the developers which I'll be talking about throughout today's episode. We will um, only be doing one episode of anything this week and that'll be this episode. Uh, the next videos will be on Saturday um, just because I'm quite busy this week so that's the way it's working. The tournament bracket so far we've obviously had two very good matches. We had a brilliant set against Gadab 7-6 uh, I remember against the world number 12 and then we went on and sealed the victory 6-2 in the second set there. Now we're playing Song Ri uh, and I haven't actually played this game for about a week now so um, it will be interesting to see uh, how good I am, so to speak, but um, no, thank you for all the support on the series so far. Over 3,000 views on pretty much every video, which is absolutely crazy. We've had a thousand new subscribers in the last month, so a big thank you for that. And it has been the best 28 days I've ever had on YouTube, so thank you very much. Well, here we are. Uh, Federer is also wearing this outfit now after the new update. Um, so we truly are wearing Federer's uh, spring outfit, but um, we'll just sort of get into this match and then we'll talk about what the developers have been saying. That's a good start. A nice backhand down the line to start us off there. Absolutely beautiful play from us there. And hopefully uh, everything's just a little bit smoother. They've apparently took away that thing where the ball's... Um, away from the racket when you you play it and that's a really good start for us here we hit a lovely uh, forehand uh, on the line cross court yeah nice shot there and theoretically we should be winning this match this guy's the world number 33 uh, we have just beaten the world number 12 so you know it shouldn't be beyond the realms of possibility that we win this match and there you go there's that that, that sort of backhand um, has gone as well that people hated and there you go 1-0 nice easy hold to start the match which is a nice change you know uh, recently we've been uh, having hard work for ourselves by losing the first few games. Obviously we were 5-1 down. Love 30 down. In that first set. In the last match. Against Gadab. We came back. And managed to win the set 7-6. This is a great rally. Oh, that's why I truly. Oh, well, I don't know what that was. <laughs> ah. The fans are going crazy. Fifteen, love. Oh, good shot. Tennis perfection. Fifteen, old. Shot, come on. I'm I'm playing remarkably better than I expected here. I've got to say. But yeah, big congratulations to Rafa Nadal who won an unbelievable eleventh French Open title um, at the French Open, and he's just unbeatable, isn't he? I think Schwartzman in the quarterfinals uh, was a set and a break up. You know, that was the closest anyone got to, to beating Rafa, so pretty crazy, it has to be said. 
And there we go. Nice break. So this could be quite an easy match by the looks of it so far. So, yeah, over um, the last week or so, Big Ben have come out. Obviously, a lot of people were talking about this 20% finish Malarkey, which, you know, I thought was a load of rubbish anyway, and you shouldn't believe what you read all the time. Um, I know one of my fellow YouTubers on this was covering it quite extensively and, and making a little bit of a big deal about it, but um, absolutely rubbish. Like, if, if a game was 20% finished, it, it would be nowhere near releasable and this game is pretty good people you know are, are saying oh it's not as good as mario a tennis aces or whatever um you know it, it, it's not as good as top spin four and yes it isn't as good as top spin four but this is the first game from the developer uh for tennis games it's the first uh you know proper tennis game on uh next gen consoles you know, it's a small budget company. Give them a chance. They've got, they've got a lot of licensed players, and they might not be the Djokovic, the Nadal, the Del Potros, the Murrays. But for a start, Murray hasn't played for 12 months. Djokovic isn't the player he used to be. Nadal's took up by AO Tennis, and Del Potro has only ever been in um, Grand Slam Tennis for some odd reason, so that's making me think maybe EA have got his rights. I don't know. Um... But I think they've done a good job. You know, it's a fun tennis game. They've got a, a fairly in-depth career mode. You know, it's not as in-depth as AO Tennis yet. Um, but AO Tennis on the first w week of release was a, an absolutely horrific game to play. Um, and, you know, I think they've done a good job. They've listened to us. Uh, they've listened to the problems that there are. They're working on them. They're going to add online in the next couple of weeks. They're going to add doubles as well um and and i've even heard of a, a create create a player suite um where you can sort of create a load of players and have them in your in your game and i know that uh AO tennis had that in from release but that has been a thing in big ants games f forever and a day really since the the don bradman games um so that's always something they've done uh, we've just been broken here. <laughs> um, so yeah, first of all, you know, don't be so harsh on them. I think they've made a good tennis game, and for a first tennis game on a low budget, they've done a, a pretty decent job, in my opinion. And they're committed to the cause. You know, they're, they're going to add licensed tournaments, licensed players in over the next year. There's going to be a special edition of the game released. Um, which, as far as I know, everybody that's got the game now will get that special edition as well. It's going to be uh, Tennis World Tour 2019 Roland Garros edition. So we are going to get the French Open in uh, Tennis World Tour next year, which I think, you know, is a, is a great coup. They've, they've had the whole eSports thing. Um, and, you know, uh, it, it worked out well for them. And, you know, we're going to get a licensed Grand Slam, which is the equivalent of AO Tennis, uh, and hopefully they'll be able to go on, maybe get Wimbledon, although I have a sneaky suspicion that EA have that right as well, um, and maybe even the US Open at some point, uh, and maybe even Australian, I know AO Tennis is named after the Australian Open, doesn't necessarily mean they've got exclusive rights though, so... Um, we'll just have to see how it goes, but uh, you've just got to be positive and uh, and the more we support them, the more likely they are to to come out and give the the changes that we want and you know want to make more tennis games because if if I got the amount of abuse that uh, the, these developers are getting for you know ninety percent of it is uncalled for, I would say. You know, yes, there's some ridiculous glitches. Yes, there's a lack of licensed tournaments. But, you know, it doesn't make them bad developers. It just it just means they haven't 100% finished the game yet. And that's uh, the next point I've come on to. It definitely wasn't 20% finished. It was probably 60 70% finished. They came out and said, well, if it was 20% finished, you'd have three players, you'd have a stadium, and uh, maybe a couple of... Um, 
you know, different animations or, or what, whatever they said. I don't, I don't know. It was words to that effect, and you know, I totally agree with them. But no games these days come out 100% finished. Every game that you buy comes with a day one patch, and I'm not saying that's the right or wrong way to do it, but that's the way it happens now, and um, we should be glad that they have the ability to add things in. After we've bought the game, we don't have to go and buy another game. Basically like FIFA do. FIFA make us buy a new game every year just for updated databases and slightly improved ball physics in inverted commas. So, you know, it could be worse. But meanwhile, it's juicy here. We, we do want to get that break back. Uh, you know, early on here if we can and that's again just unforced errors here we, we started off so solidly without any unforced errors and maybe we need to sort of go back to that Nice shot. Coming forward. Finishing off the point. I like it. It's all about the return. Nice forward down the line. We have got break point here. So I think Queen's Club starts next week. Um, the sort of grass court event before Wimbledon. And 17 of the top 30 players in the world are playing there. I think that's uh, that's really, really good. And I think uh, Andy Murray might be making his return there, which is, which will be good to see. Um, but I, I'm really excited at the, the fact that 17 of the top 30 are going to play there. Uh, obviously, Federal playing Haller. Uh, which will be on Eurosport if you're in the UK. Um, or Amazon. I think Amazon might have it, you know. Uh, if you've got Amazon Prime, but I really don't know. Oof. Meanwhile, we are break up here in this first set. Good shot. Talk about ball abuse. 15 all. Oof. Yes. <laughs> I thought we'd missed it there. Now we'd like to hold here and get the 4 1 advantage here. at that time and it's break point against once again <sighs> great shot back to juice now and hopefully can finish him off here come on yeah, and I shot. Now would be a great time for a strong serve. Now people keep asking me how to ace on this game. I have no idea. Uh, I just serve the same way every time. Sometimes it comes up an ace. Sometimes it doesn't. That was a good shot. We managed to hold. So we're four one up in this first set after thirteen minutes, which really isn't bad at all. If we can break here, I would be serving for this first set, which is what everybody wants. Uh. 
Oof, that just hit the line, but that was fantastic. Let's have a look at that on the replay. Good backhand. Setting up the top spin forehand. Just clipped the line, as you can see. Uh, hopefully they will add Hawkeye challenges in at some point, but it's not something I'm too bothered about. Um, as long as the, all the decisions are correct that are made, uh, it, it really doesn't make a difference to me. Good shot. Love 30 here. We are enjoying coming to the net a little bit. Nice forehand on the line, and we came forward and put him away. Love 30 here. Moves over a little bit. Shot. Out. Oof. He has to focus. He's putting too much faith in his back. Team. Thirty. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Not enough control in the shot. Fault. Ooh. Yeah, nice shot. And from love 30, he's come back quite strongly here. That was a lovely serve out wide. Down the line here, maybe. Yes. Juice. Good shot there. Back to Juice. Ooh. Oh, nice shot. You have to throw the ball just right. Advantage. Oh. Good old for him there. I have to say, he did well from Love 30. <sighs> Another important hold of serve for us then. Shot. How can he have so much power? 15 love. How can he hit so hard? Oh, and again. 40 love now. Oh, he should put us away here. He doesn't know. Oh, what a shot from us, and a nice easy hold in the end there. We've got new balls here at 5-2. What a shot that was. And again, can we put him away? No, we can't. What a terrible shot that was. Not enough control on the shot. I don't even know why he sliced it. I tried to hit it flat. Well, maybe we were just a little bit out of position, and... Force the error. Oh, what a serve. 113 out wide. So it looks like he might ask us the question here. Yeah, good shot. I don't know how we won that point, but we did. Oh, another great serve down the tee. And well, looks like we are going to have to serve it out if we want to win this first set. Ooh, double fault though. What a backhand there. Come on. Oh, stupid. Poor ball. Alright, so 
seven for this first set. No. Ooh. Boom. What planet is he from? Oh, Fifteen. I don't believe this. <laughs> Alright, come on. Oh, dearie me. That was absolutely terrible, that game. Breaks us to love. Back to 5 4 now. Which is annoying. Well, we've broken twice, so let's try and. Break them a third time and finally get over the line in this set. That's better. Wow. Good shot. That one had some pepper on it. And hopefully that'll stop his momentum. He he put about seven or eight points in a row there. Oh. Oof, that is terrible. Not enough control on the shot. Fifteen. Mm. How to serve. Oh, he? Fifteen. Wow. Good shot. I didn't even see the ball. That oh, was a rocket. Oh. A real lesson in how to serve. Well, uh, gonna have to do it the hard way. Out. Oh dear. What a turnaround this has been from five two. This is a huge game for us to hold here, because if we don't, then he becomes favourite for the match almost instantly. Well, I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh dear, that distracted us. 15.30 now. <sighs> Come on. Oh, what a shot. That was intense. That was nearly two break points there. But 30 all. Fault. Is that our first fault of the day? Surely it can't be. Little drop shot. He does come forward though. Come on. No. No. I can't believe this. Nope. Well, I just, I just don't know what's happened here. What a shot! Fifteen love. We should have easily won this set, and now we're probably going to lose it. <laughs> right, come on. What a shot that was. 
Yes. Wow. That one had some pepper on it. <sighs> Fifteen old? Bolt. Two points away here from this set, and we know he can pull out a really good serve when he needs it. And that is terrible from us. I don't believe it. Nope. Well, from five two up, we've lost at five seven, and I just. Can't believe it. <sighs> but ninety-four percent first serve. That's not too bad. All right, come on. Bolt. Shot. shot. Of fifteen. Completely capitulating here. Nope. A break like that can do real damage. So he's won six games in a row now, which is uh, a bit concerning to say the least. Out. The forehand goes long. Not enough control. On the we just can't keep the ball in. Shot. What power? Talk about ball abuse. Fifteen. Oh. This is a must-break game. Unconscious. Thirty fifteen. Bolt. Oh, it's in. <laughs> I thought we'd messed that up there. But still, he, he's got the advantage. And he, he is just battering us around the court at the moment. But uh, we've brought it back to juice here, so... Two big points here, because if we can get back, then we can finish this set, hopefully. <laughs> And we'll come back in the next episode for the decider. But uh, break point here. Deuce. How did that hit the line? Deuce. What a ridiculously good serve that was. Oh, good shot from us. Mm. 
no. Ugh. He has to focus. He's putting too much space in his back. Well, that's our plan done, isn't it? Out. The forehand goes wide. Not enough okay. control on the shot. Fold. Fold. Catastrophe. Double fold. Fold. Three break points against. This is the time for a big serve. Love, 40. I just, I just don't know what's happening here. Oh, it just hits the line. But I mean, if he holds here, it's 4-0. And, and he's won, what? Five, nine games in a row. I, I just don't know what's happened. <laughs> we were playing so well. What power! It's got to the point, even if we break here, and it's very unlikely we'll win this, but... At least it's a start. Out. Oh, for goodness sake. No miss that back. 15, 30. Boom! What planet is he from? 30, all. Yes. Good. He has a Good chance shot. to break right back again. 30, 40. So break point here. Yes. Good shot. That break creates a bit of breathing. So we we finally stopped the rot and we've got some new balls here, which is good. Bolt. So hopefully that'll help us out a little bit. Oh, for goodness sake. This is just stupid. He loses his chance at a break. Bolt. Bolt. His serve was not good enough. I, I just, just don't know what's happening. We played so well to break back there, and uh, I don't, I don't think we're winning this one. So much for it being an easy match. I just can't believe we, we were 5-2 up in that first set. We were two points away from it. And then this has happened. And It's not as if I've given up. I, I am trying hard every point. But I don't know. He's just getting everything back and making us play that one extra shot. Which is either going wide or going for a winner for him.
throw a drop shot in there. Yes. Good shot there. 35 shots in that rally. That is ridiculous. Longest rally of the match by quite some distance, I would suggest. He's really letting go on the sir. One turn down the middle. I sort of moved wide because I thought that's where he was going. Oh, oh! I thought I thought our shot was wide. Fifteen. <sighs> Nope. <sighs> How incredibly frustrating is this? I'm trying to take it out <laughs> of the game, but it's just not happening. We're just not timing the ball well. And it looks like our journey's over in this tournament, it has to be said. I don't think we can quite come back from here. Out. Especially when we do stupid things like that. And now we're certain to stay in the match and we've only won one of the last ten games. Which is just unbelievable. That's wide. We're three points from defeat and... I just, just can't seem to turn it around, unfortunately. It's very sad. <laughs> But uh, we will be back, and I think we probably just need a little bit of match practice. Obviously, I haven't played this game for about a week, so um, that's what I'm going to blame it on. <laughs> but um, no, the new patch seems a, a bit smoother. There's still a few little glitches in there, which is to be expected. But um, no, overall, it feels nice, and uh, look forward to using it in upcoming tournaments. But we'll get a decent amount of ranking points from this and hopefully move up uh, the standings a little bit. And Edge closer to being able to play in the Grand Slams, which is obviously the ultimate aim. But uh, I think I think we are going to bow out here. We're two points away from defeat. I can't even hold a service game at the moment. Uh, and that is incredibly frustrating. Oof. But again, we're seeing him not make any unforced errors whatsoever. I think he's made a, a couple, and that's only on double fault. So, a little bit annoying, but uh, we at least managed to get a point there. He's gonna put us away. Now he has to save a match. <sighs> and it's match point. And well, what a turnaround this has been. I mean, he's played well to be fair. You know, since five two, he's really went for it, and he deserves it. But we've saved one match point. What a shot that was! It just shows that when we want to, we can play a decent shot. We might even get to hold serve here. You never know. I don't think we're going to come back in this match, but we might get a hold serve. <laughs> hey! <laughs> a glitch that helps us for once. What's he doing? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh. 
Ooh. Oh, it hits the line. Now would be a great time for a strong serve. Advantage. Come on. Oh. Oh. match point. He really has his back to the wall. Match point once again. Fault. Please not a double fault. Oh, how close was that? Advantage. Third match point. You'd, you'd have to suggest he's going to take one at some point. And there it is. What a return. And he has won it. 7-5-6-1. I really don't know how we've ended up to losing that. But what I do know is that that was very frustrating. We have unlocked some new equipment and some tournament stuff. Um... But I think we might be into the top 50 by the looks of that achievement. So, you know, at least we've we've done that. We are, in fact... Uh, where are we? Well, we're up to 41. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Um, so we're actually only... 300 points off getting into the Grand Slams, which would be absolutely amazing at this stage of our career so yeah i'd be really really pleased with that um yeah Gadab is actually up there i was i was just checking that the the rankings were actually correct Federer right down to seven i mean that's just ridiculous isn't it but uh no if you have enjoyed this episode make sure you leave a like down below it really does help me out and it means a lot to me as well subscribe if you'd like to see more and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye